Is this Vermont or heaven? It's Vlogmas year 11. Good morning, Providence. Hey guys, it's Vlogmas day five already. I cannot believe that. I am shooketh. Last night when I was editing, I was like, oh my God. Whenever we hit Vlogmas day seven, then I start spiraling because I'm like, it's really already been a week. Come on now. Anyway, I got ready this morning in my little green fit. This little dress is from Ewer and one of my subscribers tagged me in it on Instagram and was like, I don't know, this brand just like reminds me of you and I love it. It's kind of like, it gives like yoga dress, you know what I mean? And then I have on my insulated fleece leggings. These, I have a confession to make. I was just telling my friends this. These are the sheer text knockoff ones because the actual sheer text leggings, I actually bought multiple pairs of sheer text leggings on like a significant Black Friday sale. They were like 30 to 50% off. So I got like a nude pair and a black pair, but not the fleece lined ones because the fleece lined ones went so viral that they're not shipping out until winter of next year, 2024 winter. So I was like, honey, I can't wait that long. <laughs> and so I just got these ones. And then I'm wearing my darn tough socks because it is freaking cold outside. Lala woke up really early compared to me and Sasha. We love to sleep in. Sleeping girlies unite. And she was like, y'all, it is fucking freezing out there. Also, the dress has a hood. I feel like if I was wearing my third eye pine cone right now, you guys would be like, oh my God, is she going to forest? Is she going to electric forest? Anyway, I took my hair out of my braid last night, so it's giving crimp. And I just spent the morning, you know, uploading vlogmas from yesterday and eating a baby pouch. And I think we're gonna walk to a coffee shop soon and maybe get some donuts and see what the day has in store. You know, I love a good snowflake on a light pole. It's 20 days until Christmas, everybody. Can you even believe it? Look at my little mellow yellow. Got all my beverages. <laughs> <laughs> you have a lot of beverages. Did you get anything else? Um, I got a plain bagel with butter. Yeah. Is that your favorite, your go-to? Um, usually the cream cheese, but I feel a little off today, so I feel like butter. I feel bad. You're feeling a little sicky? Uh, yeah. So there's RISD around here, and then Brown? Brown, Johnson & Wales, uh, CCRI. There's a few buildings for URI. In Providence, like on the other side of Providence, there's Providence College, Rhode Island College. Oh my God. There's so many in Providence. That's why there's a bunch of youngins around. Yep. Oh yeah. Those Janko jeans are coming back in style. Did anybody just peep that? No, I didn't see it. They're coming back. My brother told me too. He was like, I see the young snowboarders like <laughs> in Jackson wearing like the giant fucking jeans. And he was like, I just can't believe it. Like the Backstreet Boys style is coming back. And like the spiky hair. Yeah. You need to go here. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Library library. Like right here. Okay. We went to Coffee Connection and I got a little s'mores latte. I'm waiting for her to cool off. And then I also got a cinnamon raisin bagel with cream cheese. And I forgot my cup. I actually brought a reusable cup because I knew we would get coffee. Oh, no. And then we took Lala's car instead of mine and mine was in the car. What can you do? When you go to an Airbnb and turn on the TV and open an app, do you ever just like look at the old search and you're like, what were those people up to? Baby by Justin Bieber. Searching specifically for David Guetta is crazy. They were having a dance party. They definitely were. Cheerleader? Sorry. Cheerleader? I know. Those guys are crazy. So now our suggested is Summer Mix 2023. We're going to pull up my vlog though. <laughs> I was requested to do a viewing party. Woo! <laughs> I never have a viewing party of my vlogs. So fun. Does it feel awkward or is it just like... No, it's just like, this is what I watched back in editing last night. Look at that! <laughs> Wait, that's where we're at right now. Guys, I'm 15 weeks today and the baby's the size of an apple now. I know it was the size of a lemon yesterday, but now it's the size of an apple. I'm gonna read you about the baby really quickly. You're, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Whoa, sorry. that was crazy. <laughs> it says, yeah, I am. I'm disturbed with burping. It's actually gotten worse in my pregnancy. My baby is forming taste buds and nerves, beginning to connect them to the brain. By about 20 weeks, your baby's taste buds will be fully form formed. During pregnancy, molecules of what you eat pass through your bloodstream and make it into your amniotic fluid. 
but your baby doesn't actually taste what you're eating. So don't worry that they won't enjoy what you're having for dinner. No, your baby had a s'mores latte. Oh, they loved it. And my baby's legs are growing longer than their arms now. At first when I read that sentence, I was like, that sounds off. <laughs> But my legs are longer than my arms by yeah. a significant amount. Yep. <laughs> what if my arms were longer than my legs? That would be fucked. I have kind of long arms. But they're not as long as your legs. No. <laughs> I mean, they're... <laughs> they're getting down there. We made a little Whole Foods run. Us on our last day. <laughs> we got a couple things because we're gonna make banana bread. Welcome to our baking show. So we're gonna be making a little banana bread today that Sasha brought from Trader Joe, we love you Joe. And we need two large eggs. Wait, we're following this one, right? The low- On the side, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the caramelized banana upside down cake, That's which would be that sounds. insane. <laughs> so we're gonna make, um, okay, we preheated the oven to 350. Lightly butter or spray, a little Let's oil on that. there. Yeah. Oh, you brought your caraway, fun. In a medium bowl, whisk together the eggs, oil, and water. Two eggs. We're using Pete and Jerry's organics today. I'll show you everything. Don't worry, everybody. Don't you worry about a thing. Don't you worry. We haven't been able to do this together yet because of my kitchen. Oh, I'm glad we're doing this then. Yeah. That's why I was like, I'm excited about their kitchen. I just like, right now in my pregnancy, I'm obsessed with a baked good. Every day in my life, I think about baked goods or ice cream. <laughs> or both. Or, yeah, or both. Three, one third a cup. What if I put it? Three fourths a cup, that would be insane. That is so cute. Oh, me? Thank you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's so nice. <laughs> one third a cup of vegetable oil. Glug, 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 glug. Two shots of vodka. Have you seen that clip? Oh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Is it Paula Dean? No, no, no. Uh, it was Sarah, um, I mean, Sandra something. Yeah. The deranged blonde. And she was actually known for that. She would like make an insane drink all the time, like multiple shots of vodka. She didn't give a fuck. Honestly, sometimes when you think about the cooking network, like some of them could have been blackout drunk. You never know. Oh my God, right? Okay, and then three fourths a cup of water. That's water. what was the three fourths a cup. Water. It literally looks like a cooking network show. I'm Rachel Ray. Have you guys seen that person on TikTok who um, imitates Ina Garden? No. Oh, come on. I love that. Oh my God, it's incredible. And sometimes um, they also imitate Rachel Ray, but it's like super aggressive. I'm Rachel Ray. And I don't really have many memories of watching Rachel, but I do have some memories of watching Queen Ina, especially in her giant cocktails, her COVID cocktail. Three quarter cups of water. I'm over by the sink, everybody. You're not missing anything. <laughs> One, two. <laughs> Hi, darling. Thank you. Whisk it all together and then add the dry to the liquid and stir. I never use these. Hand mixers. They're great. Kind of fun. You know what I'm asking for for Christmas this year, everybody? I'm asking for an immersion hand blender. I got For one. soups. Yeah. I think you actually inspired me. I and my mom Christmas. has one too. So good. I'm asking for the KitchenAid one. In a separate vlog, I'll go over my Christmas list, but I just wanted to tell you guys that little insider detail. We were just talking about Christmas lists earlier. Yeah, well, I was asking you about yours because I want to know. You need inspo? Uh, no, I just want to know. Oh, yeah. No, I'm like that too. Like the day after Black Friday, I'm like, what did you all buy? Yeah. Tell me. Tell me the details. Add the dry ingredients to the liquid, stir with a large spoon. Um, okay, this is just the dry ingredients? Yep. My large spoon. Actually, just keep my head in it. Nobody cares. You can watch my vlog for the wide Oh, angle. wow. That's a wide angle. Yeah. I just got that on Black Friday. That was my Black Friday purchase. <laughs> that was, was your that sexy lens. new lens? Mm -hmm. That's well, why I text you. I have the 50 millimeter, which is good for like portraits. And this one's nice for vlogging. Go off, queen. Go off with your bad self. Mm, that smells good. I don't know if I've tried their banana bread. I usually get the Chiquito one. That's always near the... Yeah. The bananas and like the produce section. Can any um, Spanish speaking people please let me know in the comments oh the God. difference between Chiquita, like is that just a brand name and then Chiquiquita? I guess what we forgot again. <laughs> well, but it didn't say to put them in. Oh, it didn't? That's it didn't. the thing is like, did we even need the bananas? That's what I'm wondering. Is like in this ingredient, are there like- Wait, we don't even banana? need the bananas? No, that's what I'm saying is like, maybe we didn't, Okay, it does say, feel free to add your own extras, like a ripe banana, coconut berries, walnuts, or peanut butter frosting. Okay. 
So we can like mash one up and throw it in there. Mash it in. Yeah. Let's choose the brownest one. But really, I do need answers on that. What's the difference between Chiquita, like the brand of banana, and then Chiquiquita? There's like a Zumba song that we used to dance to where the lyrics were like, Oh, Chiquiquita coming right down from the streets, the way you move your bodies, and something like that. And I'm like, oh my God, I want somebody to call me that. And then I like ask about it. Actually, when I went to Cabo last year, I asked somebody about it. What does like Chiquiquita mean? And they were like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> And I was like, no, like Chiquita, like, you know, and they were like, I think it just means little girl. Mm. I don't know. And I was like, okay, never mind. I don't want to be called that. <laughs> I, I changed my mind. I changed my mind. I actually think that I would be horrified to know a lot of the real lyrics of the songs <laughs> that I listen to, you know? A few specks of dry mix may remain in the bowl. Deposit it into the prepared pan and bake for about 40 minutes or until a dark golden brown and firm to the touch. 40 minutes? How are we supposed to wait? We'll do our craft. Oh, that'll distract us. Yeah. Sorry, I'm like just shouldering the dog. <laughs> oh. I'm mashing a banana. Yippee. You slayed that. Oh, my little sniffles. I'm so angry. You must be so angry. No, I said my sniffles make me so angry. Oh, I was about to say, I thought, uh, I thought you were like, oh, you must be so angry, like hearing it. I was like, I literally don't care at all. Like, I'm just happy to be here. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna deposit it into the pan, as they say. I'm making a deposit at the bank. Any rubber spatulas? I'm not gonna say what else I was gonna say. They do have a rubber spatula. It's okay, I can get all this bad boy out, I think. My theory in the kitchen is why dirty another thing? Yeah, you're not wrong. That's good theory. But you know, like, I have so many kitchen tools now, it's insane. Also, when I moved in with Finley, we had double of the same stuff. Me, probably more than him, with like kitchen tools and things, was like two can openers, two paper <laughs> towel holders, two, you know, like some random stuff like that. And then you have to pick whose is better, which I actually made a decision of uh, that I still regret to this day. We had my mom, when I first moved out on my own, gave me one of those like KitchenAid side of the sink, like drain pans. I don't know how to describe it. Draining racks for your dishes that you hand wash. And the one that she had given me was like fancy and cute. And then the one that we took of Finley's was like cheap metal like shit. And I donated mine. And then later I was like, that was like 30 or $40. Like why did I do, you know, keep the one that was like 10? Yeah. What's wrong with me? To answer your question, there's a lot wrong with me. Do you think it's preheated? The light's it off. So it, 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 it. See you later, enjoy your nap. Oh, I don't have my watch on. I was gonna put 40 minutes. I'll find my phone. I've never seen Fred Claus before. This is actually my first time. So we have that on the TV above us. And then below, we're getting crazy ladies. We're getting crazy. We're having we're a craft crafty. moment. So you saw this on TikTok? Yeah, I sent, I DM'd it to you. From Tony Sevdalis. This is the TikTok. And basically, you know, what Sasha was saying yesterday. They're really expensive. It's $40 these for one ceramic, one for Pottery Mound. <laughs> so instead we're making them ourselves. I'm not artistically inclined. I'm just gonna let you guys know Joker Quadratini. Nobody knows what's happening. We can't follow this movie. No, we were too distracted the first half. Now it's really intense. Mm. Yeah, they do taste like Nutella. Little guys. Yeah. This is mine. My little trippy roof. My camera died because that was a long clip when I was decorating this one. And then this is Lala's. So cute. I'm about to decorate one that has the same like little drippy. And then this is Sasha's. Really cute. I love the red and green. Yeah. I like and the little bows. You guys are very creative. I have my bows. 
I'm proud of your yeah. you look so good. I'm proud of them. I'm doing simple modern. I love that. You know, it looks like it has brick on the side too. That's like very, very modern. Uh huh. Yeah, actually. This one will be Finley's. <laughs> 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 make this one. I really like this one. I really like this Santa's workshop and the snow and the drip and everything and I did little candy canes and that was really nice. So from the front, you know, it's giving everything. From the side, just some <laughs> windows, you know, the roof. The roof we need we're one candy can in the middle. Like right here? Right here, of each side. I can't do it anymore, honestly. <laughs> I, I have to give it up. I'm too scared. After I did the roof, I was like, oh fuck. I think I just need to pump the brakes. And now we're watching four Christmases. We can't be stopped. We're just getting a little crazy. Yes. We're getting a little crazy. And we also employed Sasha as our <laughs> ribbon girl. She's just been drawing little bows on our houses for us. Show us what you got. So I did these two. And so now I'm gonna do a little cute. mini one. And then one on the rib. Oh, it's perfect. Look, our village. Talented our queen. Boy. I have to do a big reveal once I yeah. put everything over there. I can't big even show you guys reveal. yet. Big village reveal. Huge village energy. Our little Christmas village. Sorry if I'm in your shot. Nope, you're good. Oh my God, guys, this is so cute. I feel like we're in the North Pole. I can't believe it. We each get to take home two of them. So we got a little bit of duds. There's two duds yeah. that don't have any lights in them. Luckily, both of mine light up, but unfortunately, both of my girlies have a dud of a house. And they're, and they're two, yeah. I think you might have to replace the batteries. But look at the roofs and everything too. I mean, it just looks fucking good. Gingerbread houses, who? They're also unique. Yeah, and also, you know, gingerbread houses, who eats them? Comment no, down below. Never. Have you ever eaten a gingerbread house? I feel like people just throw them away. So these are like every year gingerbread house will never get eaten by a mouse. Okay guys, this is behind the scenes right now of just, you know, getting the setup for the movie tonight, even though we've already watched like one and a half movies. But then, wow, look over here. We're gonna watch Dr. Seuss's The Grinch. So this is the 2018 one, the animated one that came out that has the fire soundtrack, but look over here. I'm so happy we did this little craft. It was so fucking fun, highly recommend. And they're pretty cheap, pretty cheap little houses you can go buy. You could get a little Santa's workshop of your own. Wow. This one and this one are mine. I also put on my little jammies. I've been wearing my onesie a lot in my Vlogmas so far. So I'm wearing my red bone apple tit crew neck instead tonight and my llama llama red pajamas. Llama llama red pajama without his mama. Real ones know Migos llama llama red pajama video. <laughs> RIP takeoff. So sad. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> this is me. Illumination! We're having our little banana bread moment, admiring our Christmas village. This could have been the greatest work we've ever done in our entire lives. <laughs> We're wholesome and cute. I, I know. Say it, I'm in like... shock because I'm not artistic at all. And that was a great craft. Easy peasy, just with our little paint markers. Like, we really slayed that. Did luck go in the grass? It's okay, Fred. Really hot. <laughs> No. It's cursed. She needs help. What happened to her? I mean, it's gonna taste minty, so that's good. Holy fucking shit. Skinny like Mariah. Cursed candy cake. It's snack attack party right now. We got some Cape Cod chips. We went to Whole Foods earlier. We got some thangs. And Lala actually headed home. She missed her boyfriend and just wanted to be there and then she's coming back tomorrow. Yeah. So it's just Sasha and I vibing. And I just asked her if she wants to watch Remy's Vlogmas. I love Remy. We love watching things on the projector today. Yes. This is our vibe. The projector is everything. Oh yes. So we're doing the hummus and the same cheesy spread as last time with crackers. Has anyone tried the holiday cheer unexpected cheddar? Please it's, let us know. Um, the unexpected cheddar cheese with cranberries, Riesling wine, and cinnamon. And I think I like it more than the regular unexpected spread. 
You're crazy for that. It's really good. <laughs> the cranberries, why not? I had cranberries today in my little tuna salad wrap and it was slay. Okay, I have seen this on Instagram, her intro, but um, Sasha has not. Sorry. So I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna put it on for her and she'll get to experience it. All right, folks, it's a whopping 11.30. Not that late, actually. Sasha's in the shower. I'm gonna start editing in my little loft up here. And I think I'll just shower in the morning because I've just been dry shampooing my bangs, you know, but would be nice to take a little luxurious shower. There's three shower heads. You always got to take advantage of a three shower head shower, okay? Whenever you get the chance. But Sasha and I were just talking for hours and hours and snacking and just having girl time, you know, and then watching some vlogs and stuff. I feel like we've consumed a lot of content today, but also a lot of it has just been like on in the background while we like do a craft or just like, you know, talk or hang out or something like that. So that's been nice just because I feel like I'm watching all the Christmas movies that I want to see, but then, you know, I'll have my big Polar Express viewing soon, but also getting to gab with girls. <laughs> so it's the best of both worlds, but I seriously had a very fun day and it's always nice to just get to like catch up in longer form than you know, watching people's vlogs or like their Twitch streams or just texting or something like that and just like seeing your internet friends in real life is just wonderful. So I'm feeling all those ways now and also just that I'm really happy that we got to do a little Christmas craft because I just can't say it enough. I normally am not that artistically inclined so I was very proud of my work today and I'm very excited to take them home and show Finley my little Christmas houses. He saw my story and he was like very nice. I'm like and I'm bringing them home honey okay we can have more Christmas decorations. I haven't even decorated the house which we'll have to do when I get home. Probably not like tomorrow when I'm home but like maybe in the next following days but yeah I need to just put more up around the house and clean and figure out where everything's gonna go. But we'll think about that another day, honey. I gotta edit now and get this vlog up in the morning for you. And we're just gonna have a little cute morning in Providence tomorrow and then head the hell home. So, ah, good times. Okay, hope you enjoyed the vlog. If you did, give her a big thumbs up. And um, also you can support me on Patreon if you would like to, patreon.com slash Megan Hughes. And I'll just see you in the morning. Stay smiling. Bye, y'all.